Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No. This is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. Anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Taunton tent.
Farc all starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tenants. Except Nancy. Like your style. Minimalist. Used to have chrome just like that. Totem tennis Starts move. moving. Fuck yeah. Third four. Hey, press the button. Well, oh, my fingers are numb. Did Royce? No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show up here. You the one. Looking for Bess Isis. Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one took out Royce. Yeah. What anyone actually boo-hoo when he wins? Oh, look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the All Foods, punk! I'm not blind! What do you want? Watch out for that one. Best Isis. Mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. Gotta talk? Sure. I'll take you. This is going. To be honest, should be thanking you. For what? Getting Royce out of the way was about time. It worked out pretty well for me, too. No problem, anytime. about samurai. Talk later, okay? Right. Let's Delta. Follow me. I'll get us out of here. Elevator. Over there. Let's go.
Car's outside. Ow! Why is it everything so damn slow in this dungeon? You all right? I've had better days. That gonquette was sure I was a goddamn spy. Okay, come on. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Why'd you come here? Really? Wanted to do a story on the music at the Totentans. <sighs> no wonder Patricia didn't buy your story. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, oh, could've been worse. That's why you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there. One piece. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. Got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? Believe I just saved your ass? Too bad you couldn't wait until after I'd gotten some footage. Ugh. Patricia. Paranoid cuntbag. Wish I'd stop by when that other guy was in charge. Royce. No, you really don't. Believe me. We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. <laughs> hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Security is Ran into a few hiccups with the good folk from Maelstrom. Fuck yeah. Listen, I caught Henry. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? You gotta meet the others. Send you the address. Hey! What if I just threw it all away? I'm ready. Hey. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? 
Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. 
You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It'll destroy him. But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Hey!
This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS More dead News. politicians? Today's story. Just watch it. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, this making Peter Pan, interrogation he, in impossible. In case you were looking for Please him? stay tuned to WNS News for Didn't developments my desk. in the story. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. What, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. In the event of Astray, those with respiratory 
No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. Sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as PDs. Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh... Not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. <laughs> 